Welcome to another episode of Reckless Eating Shorts, aka We Shorts, Mad Zion here. So I was driving by our local Carl's Jr. and saw something I have not seen on any of the food websites as of filming this. This is a brand new burger they have. It's the Budweiser Brew House Bacon Cheeseburger. It's basically Budweiser beer cheese, applewood smoked bacon strips, and caramelized onions. Very interesting. I'll be uh, popping this review up as soon as possible. Sounds good, although like Budweiser, what a random choice. I know that they have a history at Carl's Jr. of doing the beer themed burgers, using the beer in some way, shape, or form in order to uh, get her done. So that's not weird, but like choosing Budweiser is kind of a strange one in my opinion, but there you go. That is what it looks like. It's kind of compressed. Obviously I did take off the lettuce and the tomatoes because those are gross. So, uh, oh my God, but there's like, extra amounts of cheese on this thing because that's the gimmick on it uh and they okay they did keep the onions on there i was fine with the onions so all right let's try this thing out the essentially the budweiser burger <laughs> let's do it the only thing that i am noticing that would change this from a normal carl's jr burger is the overabundance of cheese like there is so much cheese on this thing i mean it's like pretty dominant but I'm not really tasting anything other than that. Like there's no beer taste or beer flavor in the cheese or anything like that. The bacon's really good. I mean, Carl's Jr. is known for its bacon, I think, in terms of fast food burgers. And uh, and just, you know, it's cooked well, but I'm just, I'm not really getting that Budweiser cheese thing going on here. It just tastes like a lot more cheese than usual. The onions are fine because they're not crunchy. So uh, you're just getting flavor, which is how I like onions. But I said, like, the bacon's really good, but that cheese is what stands out the most, but just not... I guess it does have, like, a little bit of a subtle flavor difference, but it's still, it's just, it's not enough to where I would say it would warrant promoting it as something different. Because if you gave me this and didn't tell me it was a different kind of Carl's Jr. burger, I would just bite into it and that would be it. I would have no idea that this was something special that they had. Let's come over right. I'm going to give this one a low five. I think it is good. I think that... The overabundance of cheese might hurt it just a little bit, and I think that with um, maybe ketchup, mayo, something like that, mustard would probably help it out a little bit because it's just it's just the cheese show. Well, it's a cheese show, but it's still a really good burger. Uh, I would prefer to get just their double western bacon cheeseburger. I still think that is the best burger that they have, although a lot of people say it's the famous star. But it's still an interesting concept, and it was interesting enough to when I drove by, I saw it, and I was like, I guess I'm just going to bring it home. I didn't have my camera with me. That's why this is a wee short, not a carb, so I had to bring it home and do it right here, right now. Boom! The cheese show tonight. Oh, oh. So that's that. Another beer-type burger. I'm not sure if this is coming out everywhere or if it is by the time I post this. I'm just going to post it and see what everybody says. So, yeah, that's that, and we'll see you on the next episode.